Hello, Villa Tappers. It's Eloarfa here, and today I'm coming back for another Springfield Designs video. And today, here we go. Here's the Burns Manor Town Designs. Oh yes. And so, as always, we've had loads and loads of entries from the Discord server for this one. So I must give everyone a massive thank you uh, who's entered their designs in, in Discord. And remember. If you want to submit your designs uh, for the next Springfield Designs videos, then please remember to join the Discord server and you'll find the link to the Discord in the link in the description below. Awesome. So here we go. So this first design is from Kiliov... Kiliov... He... Kiliov... He... There we go, from the Discord server. Sorry, I uh, probably didn't quite pronounce the name correctly. But what I love about this first design is firstly the facade is lovely, the Christmas facade, which hopefully will come uh, in the Christmas update again this year. We've got the money mountain at the back and I do love the, the all the different little features. We've got a, a buffalo, and we've got the spooky hedges and I do love the, the car and the kind of the pavement going around by the mocked out by the pavement and the and the hedges leading to the money mountain around the back that's a really nice design feature yeah so overall a really creative design and very nice and i do love how it's by the mountains as well it's a great idea so here's the next one and this one is from chesa so here we go this is chesa's uh, adapted design so here it is there's a whole area for the for the uh, mansions it seems so we've got the Burns of Manor, we've got Fat Tony's compound. And I do like this idea of having the mansions together in a whole fancy area. So I do love the trees and the flowers there. And I do love the uh, Burns lantern there. Look, look at that. That is very cool. And again, a lovely Christmas facade and an American flag out the back, which is a really nice uh, feature for the design. Love the pavement going through and the benches. Overall, really well designed, and I do love how it's near the beach and everything. And yeah, a nice take on it. So there we go. Thanks ever so much for Chesa for that one. Next up, we've got Lemon Tree Fifty One. He's gone for a kind of three D design here, which is uh, really nice. We've got the pavement walkway going upwards, uh, and the three D illusions created by the hedges going up. So that's a really nice idea. And we've got a parking space for Burns' car, got concrete walls and the fencing and flowers and parking lots and a fountain. So it looks really, really nice, uh, this Burns Manor design out the front. And yeah, it's really good. I love the trees around the actual manor at the back itself. Yeah, a really nice idea to make it 3D. And yeah, very, very creative. It's nice to see some 3D designing. So there we go. Thank you to Lemon Tree 51 for that one. So this is the next one, and it's from Bort Plays. Oh yes, you've got to check out Bort Plays' YouTube channel because he's got loads of tapped out content on his channel. So I would highly recommend going to uh, take a look. And yes, another great Burns Manor design, and I do love uh, the section behind it. And there's a little gap in the fence for Burns to cross into his private area. So we've got the Money Mountain, we've got the we've got the dragon. We've got the money trees, we've got a throne, we've got the golden calf idol. So all the fancy things that Mr. Burns has got to uh, demonstrate his wealth there. I do love the fencing around and the gold nail box. Nice bit of detail in the design. So there we go. Overall, another great one. And so this one is from the Lego Link. And please go and check out the Lego Link's uh, YouTube channel. And you'll find more tapped out content which I'd really, really advise you going to check out. And so again, they've gone for a 3D design, and the hedges create the illusion that this kind of steps up almost, and the pavement leading upwards, which is a really, really nice idea. And we've got a money swimming pool, a, a swimming pool full of money out the back of the manor, which is a really nice little idea there. And we've got a pond as well, a lake, Mr. Burns go fishing. I've got plum trees out the front. 
And I do love how it's on the other side of the river, so it's got its own little area, part of the town, which is closed off from everything else. And the bridge leading over to it as well, which is great. Yeah, really great design from the Lego link there. There we go. And so this next one is from Hi, I'm Very Cold, from the Discord server. And so this one is super fancy. We've got loads of gold things and fancy things. We've got a tank, we've got a limo. Oh, we've got the fountain, we've got loads of uh, golden things from the heights and very cool, interesting things all together. We've got the money mountain, we've got the dragon, we've got the money swimming pool, we've got the fancy trees, a fancy fence, fancy hedges, trees, atomic bomb. <laughs> it's just awesome. Wow. And uh, this uh, it's just amazing. And I do love the concrete area out the front of the statue by the manor. And also the Christmas facade, once again, just looks awesome. So there we go. Overall, another great design. So this next one is from Adventures with Crazy Larry. So thank you to them for featuring the design. And I do love this design. I like how the pavement leads right on onto the manor and the money trees out the front, either side of the pavement. And I guess with this design, it's it's not a bad design considering that this player is a lower level and doesn't have much cash available. But overall, I think despite the cash shortage, I think they've done a really, really good job. And it's set up very nicely for when they do earn cash and they can add things into the back of the manor and everything. And I do like how it kind of, yeah, the pavement comes up, up from it. It's just, yeah, a really nice idea. And uh a good effort i'd say for the for a low level and i reckon it will look very special when this person's a higher level so there we go so that's adventures with crazy larry and so this one there's two versions we've got poorly wog frog uh yes yeah, so this is the, the photoshop version uh with, with the uh desaturated colors and this is the normal version and this design is just on a huge scale and uh Really, really beautifully done. I love the fountain in the middle, and look at this, and and all the flowers and shrubs and everything just blended together. It's like a a whole forest that uh, Mr. Burns owns. We've got the hot springs and everything, and it's just so so pretty. And I do love the flowers, and the, I love the fact that the cars can go round like it, there's a roundabout in front. We've got the pavement leading up to the Burns Manor, the trees either side wow this is just this is very very special and overall a really great design i just love it and the fencing around and the flowers in front of the fencing it's amazing must have taken a long time to get that one done and so this next one is from Oreos. so what i really like about this one so we've got a fountain and uh a gazebo as well linked into the hedge and everything so really really creative take on it we've got the paddy wagon and the vehicles leading out and the fountain uh right directly in front of it and the fancy lamppost lead marking the walkway the pavement leading up into the burns manor that's a great idea if you're running out of ideas for that definitely use some pavement and the gazebos look really really good uh that's a, that's a really nice idea from Oreos. And I love the trees at the back. It kind of makes it more private manner, a bit more closed off from everything else. So, yeah, overall, another fantastic design. So here we go. This next one is from Callaway. And yes, a very nice design. And I do love the gargoyles. And we've got the kind of gates at the front. And at the moment, they're open to let the limo out, which is a really nice idea. And we've got some fancy swimming pools got the Quimbagini there we've got the uh the, the ziff no it's not the Quimbagini. it's the left hand roadster that's the one it's like an artifact in the back garden i just love that another uh, expensive collectible we've got the fancy swimming pool up here that's a really nice really nice features and the ziff helicopter got some money trees displaying the wealth around the uh outside and yeah so overall really nice uh, design and i do love the iron railing using a lot of these designs i would recommend that as it does give up an, a nice vibe with this particular building so there we go another great design from callaway there from the discord server 
So this next one is from Phrase Pilling for the Discord server. So here we go, they've used the iron railing. We've got a bit of a front area with the fountain and the pavement leading onto the, into the entrance, which is cool. And I love this private area on this one. Uh, we've got money trees, we've got barriers around the golden brick wall, which is nice. And look at that, we've got, an, we've got all the beer and alcohol that Mr Burns and Smithers are going to be sitting down to have. So there we go. Uh, this is just really, really nice. Another really nice one. And yeah, great. So thank you. So this next one is on a massive scale from F3X Pure. And what a lovely design. I just love this one. So we've got the statue of Mr. Burns in the middle. We've got the fountain at the side with the fancy trees. We've even got a gate at the front there. And the gazebo. So some lovely symmetry, which is uh, great for the Monday's design. And we've got the crossroad leading to all the different elements of Mr. Burns's kind of compound, it seems, not just a manor. And uh, we've got a forest that he owns and the trees mark out what he owns and the hedges and the gates. And the clay tennis courts and the volleyball courts and the, the jacuzzi and the money mountain. It's just amazing, all these different areas within this one design. The gargoyles at the front, the great symmetry. Yeah. Lovely. I do love all the elements in this one. So there we go. Another great one. And so that is all the uh, Discord designs. So getting on to my design and the other designs that I've managed to find on the internet. So this is my design. Um, it is not the greatest Burns Manor design in the world. Um, but I did make an attempt to do a gate and I did place a load of treasure by the actual manor. And we've got fountains either side, so a tiny bit of symmetry. I tried to make it interesting by making the pavement curve around, but uh, yeah, it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to. But there we go. I think what I would have done instead is have symmetry. Uh, yeah, the symmetry looks really good, and maybe use some a variety of trees and flowers and everything. Um, yeah, but it's not bad. But I think poorly wog frog from earlier is. Uh, the real design to go to go for <laughs> instead of mine I, this is probably not the exact best um but yeah i just uh i think when i started the game i just shoved a load of gold down and thought it looked cool <laughs> but there we go um it, i mean it's, you can always do that if you want after all uh all our swing fields are different so here's another one uh which is a really nice one they've gone for the kind of roundabout sense again they can go around the manor with the cars, which is really nice. It allows cars to come in and out at the same time. We've got gates at the front, we'll have the pavement leading onto the manor, and the money trees marking the kind of border outside the fences, which is a really, really nice idea. And it, it certainly displays Mr. Burns's wealth. And yes, a lot of the flowers and shrubs marking out the pavement as well. That's a nice, uh, nice effect, I would. Highly recommend that for making these designs. There we go. So another great one. And then we've got this one. So we've got some more symmetry used. Um, we've got a, a front entrance. We've got a separate bit at the back with all the money and the gold tray and the fountains and angels. So it looks really, really nicely laid out, this one. I love the statue of Mr. Burns at the front and the trees and everything and the fencing around and the I did the, there's different sections is really appealing. So there we go, there's that one. And we've got two left left hand roadsters at the front of this one. We've got some beautiful statues and the uh, uh, angels marking out the way to this one. And the gate by the entrance, the American flags, the Mr. Burns thing. So this one has really got some unique uh, design elements with these uh, statues of Smithers. And it's nice if you do have those things available, those particular decorations that we don't see too often. Then obviously it's great if you can add those in as it gives the design a bit of character, makes it different from all the other designs. And I do love all the flowers and the hedges and the great symmetry again in this one. And I love how it's surrounded by water as well. It's very cool. And then there's this one with a kind of roundabout, the Muddy Mountain looking overlooking uh, the rest of Springfield, which is just great. And the statue there, there's two entrances. Um, 
got the money to burn pit we've got the dragon and i do love how the treasure is kind of ingrained into the entrance of this one that's another great idea i think so we've got kind of all the wealth just spread out around which is very nice and we've got the roundabout we've got the lantern in the middle there so we've got some unique features some lovely symmetry as well so there we go and there's there's this one lots of flowers a kind of money section at the back uh yes we've got the iron railing around as well lots of other mansion designs there does fit in nicely the hedges and the pavement going around it's very nice and then there's this one which does kind of curve around a better example of one that curves around the path and uh, we've got a valentine's arch it does look very nice it's kind of a walkway uh, instead of a drive driveway really and we've got the volleyball court with the chairs out for viewing and the fountains so it looks really nice and i love how the river's next to it and the flowers are there by the fence it looks very cool so there we go uh we did actually see that one so that is all the designs so there we go overall some really nice designs and i must thank to everybody who featured their designs from the discord server so thanks a lot and please remember if you want to be featuring your designs in any future Springfield Designs videos that I'm doing, then please remember to join the Discord server, which is in the link in the description below. And also remember that when you're in the Discord, you can choose what buildings that I feature next. So all the more reason to go and join now. It would also be amazing if you could check out my Patreon page because that will allow you to get early access to some of my videos. So I would highly recommend that. And it would also be amazing if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and good. Bye.